case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Brown v. Allen, a 1953 Supreme Court case, centered on the assertion that a petitioner must exhaust all available state remedies before challenging a decision in a federal court through habeas corpus proceedings. Moreover, federal courts generally cannot re-examine issues already decided by state courts. The case came about due to various instances of individuals filing habeas corpus petitions. One petitioner claimed their fair adjudication rights were violated. However, the state court had already ruled on the issue, leading the federal court to find no need for a hearing. In another case, two black petitioners were convicted of murder despite a racially disparate jury. The Supreme Court upheld their conviction but did not address the merits of the case. The court ultimately held that habeas corpus petitions could not raise questions already decided by state courts. Petitioners were required to make a prima facie case and provide facts for relief. Federal courts were not allowed to re-examine cases with detailed state court findings, but they also could not rely on cases lacking detail. Despite each petitioner having exhausted all necessary state procedures before seeking federal intervention, the court denied the writs of habeas corpus. This led to ongoing confusion and inconsistencies in the application of the exhaustion requirement in habeas corpus cases. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.